Bueno, vamos a dar la bienvenida ahora a Johan Odu. Él es fundador y responsable de Professional Service Champions, que es una organización líder que, orga que prepara eh, campeonatos mundiales, a nivel mundial, en distintos temas. Su último proyecto es el Gamification World Championship, un reto mundial en el que participan más de 200 países que ce se celebrará ahora a finales de agosto y todos luchan por saber, por hacerse con el título del mayor experto en gamificación. Para hablarnos un poquito más de esta competición y de su proyecto, tenemos aquí a, jo a Johan Odu. Un fuerte aplauso para él. I find this whole area of gamification fascinating for so many different reasons. It's one of those things that it borders on so many interesting fields uh, in life. Everything from behavioral economics to psychology, from game design to strategy. There are so many things it kind of neighbors and sort of overlaps with. But one of the things that I find most interesting about this whole uh, industry of gamification is that on one hand we've got the people that are emerging as sort of gamification experts. Sergio and putting on a, an event like this is one example and many of the other speakers that we've seen here today. But on the other hand, gamification is relevant to so many different people that would never consider themselves gamification experts as such. And I think this is one of the things that's really unique about gamification, and with the exception of perhaps something like personal finance, which is an industry that everyone has a vested interest in, um, I think gamification is one of those unique industries where it's relevant to lots of different people. And what we're starting to see is that there, there are lots of great resources now becoming uh, available for people to educate themselves in and around gamification. There's lots of fantastic books, lots of fantastic videos, um, heaps of different blogs. But one of the things that we don't still yet have is a lot of opportunity for people to actually practice applying gamification and, and sort of game thinking, game design thinking. And as I'm sure a, a lot of you are aware, one of the best ways to actually learn something um, is, is to actually practice doing it. So this is one of the principles behind why we came up with the Gamification World Championships. We felt it was about time that the discipline of gamification deserved a World Championships. So, who is the Gamification World Championships for? It's for people like this. People that love to create engaging experiences. Um, and I, I think it's one of those things that as kids, we did almost intuitively. We were really good at taking a boring situation And we found a way through creativity and imagination, and because we didn't know any better, we found a way to make it really interesting and engaging. And as we got older and as we got more serious, we kind of lost that ability a little bit. I want you to, I want you to shut your eyes for 30 seconds and just try and go back to your childhood. What was the first experience that you had where you actually gamified something? You took something that was pretty boring and you found a way to make it more interesting. I want you to just quickly see if you can recall that first experience. And you probably didn't think of it as gamification. For me, it was uh, something simple. I learned guitar from a, a very young age, and I, I really, really wanted an electric guitar. So my parents said, all right, after you do uh, another 100 hours of practice, you can have an electric guitar. So the first thing I did is I kind of sat down, and I drew myself a little progress bar. And each hour of practice, I just kind of crossed it off. And of course, I didn't think of that as gamification. But I guess that's one sort of very early e example of sort of gamification and, and how it works. So we've designed this competition to help deepen people's understanding of what it takes to create an engaging experience. I think a lot of people are now moving past that idea of sort of points, badges, and leaderboards just being the only thing that is sort of gamification. But I think there's still a, a big belief, perhaps probably beyond the people in this room, that gamification is still just, all right, well, how can we make a website more interesting, or how can we make a normal sort of typical process more interesting? And one of the things that we want to try and do with the World Championships is show off the idea that, you know what, gamification can apply in a variety of different circumstances, and it's got a variety of different mechanisms out there, um, and that 
you know, the more you can understand the way these different uh, mechanisms work, and the more that you can actually get a little bit of practice of, all right, well, in this situation, how would I apply my understanding of gamification or motivation? Or how would it differ if I were to apply it in this situation? We think that that's really useful in helping moving the industry forward. So, the Gamification World Championships. We're going to hold two online rounds and then a live finals event in San Francisco. And the online rounds are going to have a number of interactive case studies which will be looking for you to identify a number of mechanisms that are being used or to watch a little video of a scenario and identify, well, what's being used to motivate the player to do this or what could we do to help motiva motivate the player to do, to do that. So we have a, a first prize of $25,000 um, and a whole variety of other prizes. On, on top of that, we're going to fly the, the top 16 to San Francisco for the finals. Round one is going to be purely online, so people from all over the world can compete. We're going to take the, the top performers from round one through to round two and then take the top 16 from round two through to the finals in San Francisco. The competition, round one is going to start at the end of August. We're going to have round two a couple of weeks later, and then the live finals event will be in San Francisco on October the 13th. So if you, you happen to be in San Francisco, please do let us know. We'd love to have you along for the finals. Now, we've uh, been working with Sergio uh, for a while, so what we've done is uh, normally sort of registration is $25, but there is a 50% discount for uh, anyone that is involved in the uh, World Gamification Congress. So just use the, uh, the discount code, take a picture of that for, for later on if you need, um, GWC Spain, um, and you can register at gamify.com. Now, before I'm going to get into a, a quick little example um, of a question, a, a fun kind of little way to kind of warm up for the Gamification World Championships. But before I do, I've got a, um, a quick video, which, if the technology gods are with us, should play. Now, before I finish up and before we all uh, head off to, uh, to the break, I want to leave you with a, uh, I guess a, a little bit of a warm-up question, a, um, perhaps something that you guys can go and sort of discuss during the, the, the break. Whoop, bear with us one moment. Uh-huh, we're back. All right, I want to pose a question for you. While well, both football and the Olympic 100-metre sprints are considered games in their own right, they can also be thought of as gamified running, essentially. Which of these involves a more extensive use of game mechanics? Now, you might think something like this is a bit of an odd example of gamification to use games as an example of gamification. But I think one of the things that makes this kind of question interesting is that, as I, we were looking at uh, examples earlier today of essentially a gamified video game about a game of the game of basketball. Um, and even though football, sorry, I was about to call it soccer, but I think that's a, a shootable offence here. Um, even though football is a, a game in itself, to think about something like football, and to think about something like the 100-meter sprints as gamified running, 
will then lead you to thinking about, well, how do those examples, as an example of gamification, relate to, say, some of the things that Nike have done with their Nike Plus system around the gamification of running? Things like Strava, if you're familiar with Strava and some of those other kind of GPS gamification or GPS based gamification examples that use the, the data that comes from either your phone if you go for a run or a lot of the fitness GPS watches. So uh, it's actually part of the, the, the leaderboard that we're running here. You can snap um, your answer, A or B, um, or snap both and decide over the break. Um, but have a go uh, entering uh, or answering this question. Discuss it with, uh, with your colleagues uh, over the break. And what we might do, uh, the, the answer I think we will will be revealed later on, either as part of the conference, but I think in about two weeks we're going to post a, a slightly more in-depth analysis of, uh, of the answer to something like this. So, look, Gamification World Championships, I think it's something that hopefully most of you guys will find interesting, fun, it's perhaps a gamified way of deepening people's understanding of gamification. Uh, if you've got any other questions uh, about the competition or want to get involved, um, there are some of the ways that you can interact with the competition or get in contact with myself. Thank you very much. ¿Hay alguna pregunta para Johan? Okay, I think everything is okay. clear. Thank you very much, Johan. Yes. <laughs> no aplauso.